similar to you, the banana. Let's play. Uh, we're going to be playing this neat little game, which, you know, I don't tell you the title. The title is, like, you know, <clears throat> that'd be uh, pretty stupid if you needed me to tell you that, you know. Uh, March 25th, 2000. <clears throat> Finally, we're out of the Elex Forest. Look, Brando, we're almost in Goldenrod City. We actually got here before dark. Isn't that great? Lava. Lava. Come on, Brando. Let's find you a Pokemon Center. Let's find a Pokemon Center for you. We should avoid the tall grass. Lava. Barry restores 5 HP. That's not accurate. Barry's restore 10. <clears throat> we should avoid the tall grass and get to the Pokemon Center. <clears throat> Man, I'm I'm kind of cooked right now. Man is my only Pokemon. I can't give him to the daycare. He's my only protection. Like my throat. Eesh. Route 34. Goldenrod City. Azalea Town. Ilex Forest. Somewhere between. Somewhere between. Locked. Strange. Oh, we almost missed the Pokemon Center. Um, what? The Pokemon Center is closed? How's that possible? It's never happened to me. Hmm. I think we should ask a citizen what is going on. We should ask a citizen what is going on here. I'm sure the people could help us. Lava, lava. <clears throat> Your playground, Goldenrod City game. Locked. Strange. Door's locked. Seems like no one's home. Locked. Strange. Underground entrance. <clears throat> Your playground. Ah, excuse me, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Oh my god! What happened to you? You feeling alright? You're, you're bleeding. Uh, let me help you. Could you tell me what's up with the Pokemon Center? Strangely, it's closed. <clears throat> Another dead walking body. Take that! Oh, fuck. That was my last bullet. What? Oh my god! Why did you shoot this poor woman? Murder! If I hadn't shot this lady, you would be dead meat now, boy. What? Arr! The boy had a shock and lost his consciousness. <clears throat> He'll certainly wake up soon. Check if he was bitten. If he was, we will end his life quickly. He's completely fine. No need to be worried. Uh, copyrighted music, copyrighted music, copyrighted music. I know I broke copyright law, but still copyrighted music, copyrighted music, copyrighted music, copyrighted music, copyrighted music, copyrighted music. Don't listen, don't listen. No YouTube, no YouTube. Copyrighted music, 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 copyrighted music. Oh, we got through that just fine. Okay. Oh, you're finally awake. How are you doing, young boy? Oh. Well, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, sweetie. You're safe now. My name is Martha. You are in the underground of Goldenrod City. You had a shock and Dave brought you here. Dave? I'm the guy who saved your ass out there. I used my last bullet for you. I remember. You shot that woman. Wait a moment. Brando, how's my Koalava doing? Lava, lava, lava. Oh, you're alright, that's great. 
Hello, I took care of your Kualavo while you were sleeping. His wounds are healed and he is totally fitting. How are you, my boy? Do you think you can stand up already? I... I think I can. Could you tell me now where exactly I am? I know that this is somewhere in the underground of the city, but what is this? Why did Dave murder that woman? She was already injured. This is the underground bunker in the underground of Goldenrod City. We have everything we need. Beds, food, and medical treatment. We're safe here for now. <clears throat> safe? From what? What are you talking about? That woman I shot in front of your eyes. She wasn't human anymore. Because she was already dead. Dead? But she was still moving towards me. That's the point. They're neither really dead nor really alive. They? Yes, they. The living dead. Or zombies, roamers, lame brain, infected, whatever. They are everywhere now. And they crave one for one thing. Living meat. That woman from before. She wanted to eat you and your Quilava alive. What are you talking about? This can't be. <clears throat> That's how it is. If she had bitten you just once, you'd become one of them within a few hours. What do you mean? Once you get bitten by an undead, you start to feel sick. Your body temperature rises until the fever kills you eventually. The problem is, you won't stay dead for long. You'll return as a mindless, undead creature. This, this has to be a bad dream, right? Tell me, I'm dreaming. That would be great, boy. A cure. Or a vaccine. I'm sure there has to be one, right? Unfortunately not. We aren't even sure what caused this horrendous infection. The only thing we can do now is survive. We can't do anything besides that. But what if we just flee from the city? No way. These Romans have taken over the city. And the areas outside the city are even worse. Fortunately, everyone with a flying type Pokemon already fled from the city left us behind. Egotistic bastards. Even the gym leader bit me to pee without a trace. Brando and I just left the Ilex forest. We didn't see any undead. What? That's impossible. The Elex forest is filled with those bad with those beasts. You getting out of there was pure luck. Going there would be suicide. <clears throat> oh, stay here. Fortunately, we found this emergency bunker that was built a long time ago still a lot to do. If you want to stay, you have to prove your worth to the group. Come to me to prepare to take on your first task. Dave has a task for you. Talk to him. Hello, Ethan. If your Kualava is weakened, you can come to me and I'll heal it. But our medical supplies aren't as sumptuous as the Pokemon Center. It means that I can heal your Kualava just five times. Back if you need my help. Hi. My name is Melanie. And you must be Ethan, right? Why do I look sad? Something depresses me. But I don't want to talk about it. Not yet. Okay. Hi. My name is Melanie. You must be Ethan. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <coughs> Save. Okay. Hey, Ethan. When I dragged you in here, I noticed an infected hound that were following us. A hound hour? Pokemon? Yes, humans as well as Pokemon can be infected. Anyways, I get neither. Just, I. Anyways, I have neither pistol bullets nor a strong Pokemon to kill it. We are safe in here, but I don't have a good feeling with a zombie in front of our door. Your Quilava seems strong enough to beat these monsters. We have to get rid of it. That shithead is over there. <coughs> now this is where your Quilava comes into play. Forget everything you think you know about Pokemon battles. This is just about survival. Use Brando's melee attack. Scratch by pressing the one key. Xbox controller L... Oh, this game has uh, Xbox controller support? That's cool. If an enemy is in front of you, press the key to you scratch against it. Did that say against? Uh, it probably did. Successful hits will knock back the enemy. If you miss your enemy, they attack you, and Brando loses HP. 
Use Brando's ranged attack, Ember, by pressing the 2 key. Ember allows hitting enemies from a greater distance, but it has a disadvantage. Hit enemies will not be knocked back. Be careful, you can't use your attacks as fast as you want. They only work if the... Uh, if the blue pee, pee bar that you can see in the upper right corner of the screen is filled. You can see your current HP above the PP bar or in the menu under the entry Pokemon. If Brando's HP hits zero, Brando dies, and it's game over. Okay, Brando, attack. <coughs> Kalava. Alright, let's go. Uh, dude, dude, what is this song here? It sounds kind of... I don't know, maybe it's only familiar because I've played this game so much, but I feel like I recognize that from somewhere else. That were great. Your Kualava has a lot of potential. Okay, let's go back in. I hope the sound mixing is not too... This game has really goofy sound mixing. I feel like some tracks are just weird and loud. So I really hope there's nothing in this game that just, like, overtakes my voice completely. I can't really have the microphone setting much higher, because if I do, then uh, you get, like, fan noises and outside stuff. That was excellent, Ethan. You are a great Pokemon trainer, but this was just the beginning. When I saved you, I was actually searching for someone. You mean, I was actually looking for Harold when I accidentally met you. I couldn't just let you die there, of course, so I dragged you down here. I asked Harold with... I tasked Harold with blocking the entrances to the city so that no more undead can come into the city, but he still hasn't come back. You know that I don't have any ammunition. What do you mean by that? Well, you and your Kualava are a strong team. Harold is responsible for our safety. If something went wrong, we are all in even greater danger than before. We need to know what happened, and that's why I'm asking you. Search him, please! But outside? What if he's already dead? I want to stay here and survive. I know you're afraid, but we will all die if Harold didn't finish his task. And trust me, we have already lost some good people during the last couple of days. And I don't want to see anyone die yet more. Everyone here has to do their best. There's Joy takes care of the injured. Martha cares for them afterward and is responsible for the rest. And I analyze the city's weak points and search for secret passages. And Harold fixes this problematic spots. And you have a strong Pokemon at your side. We have no other Pokemon here, unfortunately, but we all have to work together if we want to survive. Alright, I got it. I'll do it. Search for him. He probably would be dead if it wasn't for him. Thank you, Ethan. You should go back to Route 34 and look at the exit of the Ilex Woods. That's where he wanted to start securing the city. You can also take on side quests from other survivors. I think that girl, Melody, has an urgent problem. You'll look after her, Brando. Let's go. Malava. Quick, quick, lava. Ethan, do you have a moment for me? All of us a great favor, so I wanted to give you this. A fairy regenerates 5 HP of your Pokemon. Just open your bag and use it. Thanks a lot. I'm sure we'll do this. Alright. Go to the exit of the Ilex Forest on the floor and look for Harold. I just want to know what happened to you. Hi, Ethan. When this disease broke out, we were hunted by a lot of infected. My brave spell sprout stayed behind, so I had a chance to escape. But it got attacked and bitten in the head. And now I know that my cute spell sprout is one of them. I'm sorry, but I think I need to cry. Please, Ethan. If you see it, free it from its misery. Please, please, please. I don't want it to walk around like this. Please, kill it. I'll kill it. It's alright, I'll do it. Thanks, a lot. I'll give you a reward for it. The last time I saw my Bellsprout was at the radio tower. Ooh. Thing. Alright. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's one and two. For some reason. Ow. Okay. Jerk. Alright. 
right, there we go. Hmm. Uh, every time I replay this game, that bugs me. Locked. 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 Ow! Oh, wait, I pressed C. Need to remember, it's one and two, which is a really weird control scheme. Just so I can use my thumb to interact. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, Brando, you seem to be doing well. Hmm, someone blocked the entrance to the Elex Forest with trucks. You think this was Harold? Hey, there's something on the ground. Looks like some sort of checklist. Harold isn't here anymore, and he wasn't at the north entrance either. Looks like we have to drop by the Pokemon gym. Although I'm wondering, what is he trying to investigate there? Alright, let's see. Oh no, I bet he's bit. <laughs> help! Help me! I can't believe it, a survivor. Probably this Herald guy. Quick, let's help him. Whoa, this track is loud. Okay. Come on, Jigglypuff. Yes. Ow. I swear that it went after I did the input. But whatever. Come on, Sailor. Sailor, dude. Come on. Come on. Ow. Dude, I pressed the. What the. Okay. Come on. Dude. Oh my god. Bruh. Okay. Whatever. Don't engage in close combat. Come on. Come through. Dude. Dude! There we go. Oh, there's something down there. Ooh, berry. Uh... Whoa, thanks, kid. You just saved my life. Are you, Harold? Yeah, that's me. Why? Are you searching for me? Who are you? Don't worry. Dave told me to search for you. Are you alright? Did you get bitten? No, no. I'm totally fine. Everything is fine. We should talk later. Let's head back to the hideout for now. Harold, God bless. You're all right. All so worried about you. We already expected the worst. I'm alive, only thanks to this kid and his quillava. But tell me, what happened? I blocked the city entrance in the south, just as you told me to. This should prevent these beasts from getting here, at least to an extent. Afterwards, I wanted to check the Pokemon Gym and see if it would make for a good shelter or not. Or even to find some more survivors who could have fled into the gym. But a lot of these beasts hunted me on my way there and I had to flee into the gym. But of course, they continued to follow me. But I was able to hide from them, thanks to the maze that Whitby built there. These infected got confused by the maze? 
correct. These monsters are unimaginably stupid. They only have one thing in mind, eating, and they are very dangerous in large numbers. But it's very easy to trick them. Don't forget this. A single one is weak and no danger. But it's almost impossible to fight them in large numbers. But I can't thank you enough for getting me out there. What's your name? I'm Ethan, and my Pokemon is called Brando. Again, thanks a lot, Ethan and Brando. I was wondering, what's the deal with those trucks you placed at the south entrance? Can't we use them to get out of the city? Impossible. These trucks are trash. We could drive half a mile at best before the zombies would get us. All good vehicles, even all Pokemon that can get us out of here are gone. We're trapped in the city for now. That's why we need a lot of useful resources from all around the city. But we need a backup as well. You saw what happens when you're alone on the streets. There's hope. Maybe we can build some kind of a boat or car. Can't think of that just yet. I'm just happy that you're alright, Harold. That's the most important for now. Come to me when you have some news. I'll do that. I'll continue my best. So continue doing my best. Ethan, I have to thank you. I haven't any I don't have anything I can give you for your troubles, but I'm sure I'll give you something back eventually. We're all working together, and we're all and we all and we're all working together, and we'll all try to survive. This mess is as good as possible, right? This mess as good as possible. Yeah, but Ethan, when your Palava are the only ones that can safely leave the bunker. So there's still work to do? Yes. There's no need to hurry. Take your time. Come to me when you're ready to go outside. Again. Well, that's where we'll be leaving things off for uh, this epic video. Uh, yeah. See you guys later. Goodbye. Walk in the damn square. <laughs>